Good morning, Box. Hello, Box. How are you today? Good. I'm glad to hear that. I hope you're doing well. If not, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope this vlog cheers you up because we're vlogging again. That's the thing that's happening again. Um, and if you forgot how this works, when I ask you how is it going, you're supposed to respond. Some of you I don't. Didn't. I don't think anyone responds how to that. How dare you? Some people respond. I know they do. Mm -hmm. They've said so. Oftentimes, people comment about how that's such a weird way to introduce yourself. Well, you know what? Kids we're weird. Are not, yeah. Not perhaps the, the norm. But. We do not conform. <laughs> um, so I just wanted to say, those of you who are on Sun Compact, who might not be on Heidi Kim TV, we had a pretty honest, straightforward video go live on Heidi Kim TV this morning, and I'm I'm surprised. I'm very surprised and shocked by the support that we've already gotten. Um, I'm going to link it down below so you guys can check it out because it's a lot to go into right here but basically YouTube has decided that a lot of Figure our content is not advertiser friendly because we talk about loss and whatnot and we've decided that rather than pandering to advertisers we want to remain uh, uncensored and honest with you guys and so we've started a patreon page which is patreon.com slash Heidi Kim TV it will be linked down below and if you want to know more about that you can check out that video that I talked more about it but I'm surprised we're already getting patrons I was not expecting I was like, well, it looks like you might have to quit YouTube. I wasn't expecting anyone to actually support us. So thank you so much for everyone that's already supported us. Thumbs up. Yeah. And some people have even said that they want a sudden compact t-shirt. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What would it say? What would it say? Tell us in the comments. If we were going to... I'm not making any promises. Let's there are no promises. <laughs> I have no idea how to go about doing that. No, I have no idea what that process would look like. But if we were to make a t-shirt, what would it say? I don't know. Oh. Um, and I also wanted to let you guys know, I didn't talk about it yesterday, but this is why I, the vlog disappeared for a good chunk of the day yesterday because I was working on this most of the day. Um, and on into the night, it took us until midnight to kind of get it figured out. But I started a podcast. <laughs> How crazy is that? Oh, yes. Ken was pretty annoyed at the difficulty of getting the podcast on SoundCloud, but we did it. I'm annoyed with the iTunes right now. Yeah. It should be on iTunes very, very soon. In fact, it might be up by now. I don't know. But if it's not, it is on SoundCloud. So I will link that down below. It's going to be all about breastfeeding. And I've decided to pursue an international board certified lactation consultant, which will take a very long time. We're talking at least two years, probably longer. But um, I want to do a breastfeeding podcast in the meantime. So you guys can check that out too. I feel like we're just jumping in head first. That's a good Going back and watching September from three years ago. Is that interesting for you? It made me remember why we do this. Yeah. Speaking of day-to-day -day activities, so, you know, I'm a teacher at a more traditional high school, right? So I've got a lot more students now, like way more than I've ever had before. And uh, we just did our first test and I did like a sample and I was like, I divided how much time it took by how many students I created. And I was like, I averaged five minutes of test. And I ran the math and I was like, I have... I have about 10 hours of grading to do. Uh, fun fact, that's how you finished the vlog last night. You said, oh, I really? have 10 hours I'm of grading so to do, and then it. we never signed off. So I had to do it on the on you, the uh, webcam this morning. Can you tell that I'm very sad about it? Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm not, but... But what are we doing right now instead? Uh, we are going, instead of doing work, um, we are going to uh, my cousin's birthday party. Yep. But first, being the Kims, we have to stop to buy a present. Yes, sir. Yep, so uh, that is where we are heading right now. What were you going to tell me? Oh, I was, I was just saying, I had a Ron Swanson moment, because I try to keep a really firm line between like me and my students, and I'm like, I'm your teacher, I'm not your friend. Like, I'm here and friendly, but I'm not your friend. You can gossip with your friend, but I'm your teacher. And so I had a student get a little chummy with me. No, you were going to ignore that. Sorry. Go ahead. I just didn't get a little chummy with me, and I totally just called him the wrong name. <laughs> just to put him in his just place, to just to remind you, I am not your friend. It was, like, it was just like, for example, I was just like, oh. You should probably answer that. Yeah. Anymore, so I just keep what talking. I forgot what I was saying. You just were reminding them that, um... Oh, yeah. So, for example, we'll just, we'll just come up with an example. Let's say the student's name was John. I was just like, thanks, Kevin. Really appreciate it. <laughs> just kept walking. Just, just to remind them not to be too chummy. Yeah. It's funny. Oh, Look who it is! Hello! Hello! Hello. 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 Hello.
Hi. Hey. Hello. Hello. Do you remember when Rosin was this big? You remember that? Yeah. You can't watch on Netflix, otherwise you miss certain specials. Christmas specials, all that kind of stuff. They don't have all the specials on there, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, so there'll be, there'll be things that you can miss on Netflix. Yeah, and I realized that I started recording it, and I'm like, oh, but I didn't think this episode was special, and it wasn't on there, so yeah. In a sudden change of events, I'm going to urgent care. I wonder why. I did something dumb. No, no, you, just, you had a bit of an, an oop. I look really cool. I slammed my, so I opened the back door and the door was swinging shut as I bent down to take Irene out of the car seat. And I hit my eyebrow. It was really close to my eye. It's it a good was, thing yeah. I didn't hit my eye really hard, really, really hard onto the sharp corner of the car door. You're the only person I have ever met to get such odd injuries. There's this with the weird corner of the car door. You punctured your foot with a three ring binder. That oh, I time. totally forgot about stepping on the binder. You just like get weird injuries that don't make sense. I mean, like, I'm sure a lot of people do. Anyway, um, Ken's I don't know how to say this without it being confusing. So it's my, my... His cousin, and we were at his cousin's birthday. His cousin's grandma on the other side is so my, a nurse. My, my aunt's, my aunt's husband's mother. Yes. Anyway, the person hosting the party is a trauma nurse. And she looked at it and she put these on it and said that the gash looked pretty deep. But we kind of sat there for a little while. I don't feel good. Like, I feel dizzy. And so she told me that we need to leave. So we're going to urgent care to see if I need stitches. So Huzzah! it's a fun afternoon. I'm glad that I wasn't alone when that happened. Yeah, that would have been unfortunate. Yeah, because I don't really feel good holding the girls, much less driving right now. Do I look weird? No. <laughs> Ken is taking Rosalind to the doctor. We are, or to the bathroom. We are in urgent care, and um, I'm getting stitches. It looks like they haven't looked at it yet, but they kind of put the stereo strips on, and um, and my head hurts a lot, you guys. Hi, Irene. You want to say hi to the box? Yeah. What did you get, Rosalind? A band-aid. You got a special band-aid? Yeah. Why? Cute. On your back? Because your back hurt. You feel better now, though? <laughs> yeah. Please don't touch the floor. I gave the yeah. a band-aid to give to her out of my little first aid to get out of the Can yeah. you just hand this to her? She's like, yes. <laughs> Plus, I look extra cool right now. I haven't even seen myself. Is this a band-aid that's on me? Yeah, you have a band-aid right now. It's over the strips. Awesome. Irene was being cute, so I decided to take the camera out. <laughs> oh, did we give them an update on my my eyebrow? No, why don't you show them? I did not need stitches. No, you didn't. We just went to urgent care so I could get a glorified band-aid. Although it looks like it's healing a lot better though. It yeah, but it being like an expressive person <laughs> is very painful. Every time I move my eyebrow it starts to hurt. I took some Oh ow. I used my eyebrow. She was being cute. Um I took some pain medication just a minute ago, so I think that'll help a little bit but <laughs> Ken is reading a I'm reading thing that analyzes <laughs> SpongeBob, SpongeBob SquarePants and explains how like it's it's a um, communist manifesto and like how different characters represent different working classes and like how as millennials we totally like we started off as SpongeBob and now we're Squidward and I was like there's some truth to that. <laughs> Hello guys, hope you enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, give us a thumbs up down below. If you're new around here, subscribe because I guess we're doing this a little bit more often. And we'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.